أحسن الدين ودنيا إذا جتمع لا بارك الله في دنيا بلادي وما لأحد عنده من نعمة تجزى إلا ابتغاء وجه ربه الأعلى ولسوف يرضى Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And have in his mind no favor from anyone, for which a reward is expected in return. This refers to the righteous person that does not owe anyone any favor, but is still give out his words. And perhaps he does act of kindness to the other people, for which they owe him favors. Thus, he becomes a true slave of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because he is indebted to him alone for his kindness. Following this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Accept only the desire to seek the countenance of his Lord, the Most High. This means, he only spends his words to seek Allah's continence, hoping to attain the blessings of seeing him in the final abode in the gardens of paradise. Thus, Allah SWT says, He surely will be pleased, that is, when he will enter paradise. This means the righteous man will be well pleased with what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bestow upon him of all kinds of honors and rewards. Many of the scholars have mentioned that these verses were revealed about Abu Bakr as Siddiq radiallahu an. He was the first and foremost of this ummah to have all of these characteristics. For verily, he was truthful, pious, generous, charitable, and he always spent his word in obedience of Allah's commandments and in, and in aiding the Messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He spent enormously huge amounts of dirham and dinars in the way of Allah and for people's use without seeking any rewards from them. He even showed kindness towards leaders and chiefs of all tribes. This is why Urwa Abun Mas'ud, who was the chief of the Thaqif tribe, said to him on the day of Treaty of Udaibiya, By Allah, if I did not owe you a debt, which I have not paid you back for. I would have responded to you, that is, I would have accepted your call to Islam. Abu Bakr al-Siddiq God Allah and became angry with him for saying such a thing. That is, how would you say you owe me something? So if this was his position with the chiefs of the Arabs, then what about those other than them, that is the Muslims? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to show his mercy upon Abu Bakr as Siddiq radiallahu an, and assist us to be obedient to him subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the end of the SG6 of Surah to Life. All praise and thanks are for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And may the blessings and peace of Allah be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Till next time we say Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ma ahsana ad-dina wa dunya idha jitama'a لا بارك الله في دنيا بلا دين